Hello everybody and welcome back. So today we have a first impressions video on the new game Pistol Whip and we're going to discuss if this game was overhyped. Now before you dismiss this title as clickbait, I just want to let you know I'm not going to be crapping all over this game, nor will I be singing its praises. There is a lot to discuss on both the positive and negative side. If you know absolutely nothing about this game, it is a stylized, rhythm-based shooter. It was being sold to us as a combination of John Wick meets Beat Saber, and it is a radical departure from titles previously produced from Cloudhead Games. Those previous titles included The Gallery Episode 1 and 2, and also Aperture Science Hand Labs demo. And while all of these were excellent in their own right, they were narrative driven experiences and in no way similar to Pistol Whip. Now my immediate first impression of this game was it's definitely not as engaging or fun as Beat Saber and I also really wouldn't consider it a rhythm based game. It took about 45 minutes before I started to really appreciate this game. The John Wick level of action style shooting is definitely captured in this game. The game uses a type of auto aim assist so if your gun is just mildly pointed in the direction of an enemy you turn into the world's best marksman. Now if you're playing on an easier difficulty level like easy or normal this allows you to play around have a lot of fun with the game there's actually enough time to even dodge bullets or you can even be silly and start firing bullets behind your back from a challenge standpoint this game goes from easy to hard and the overall difficulty level is nothing compared to beat saber within the first 30 minutes i was able to complete some missions on hard and i even made the leaderboard which i'm sure i'm not on there anymore now for those of you who really strive for a challenge there is dead eye mode which will shut off that auto aim assist, turning it into almost a completely different game. The difficulty of this game is also quite different than your average rhythm style game, where you normally miss one or two keys, panic sets in, and then it is all downhill, or you luckily recover. This game allows you two mistakes. In truth, it's really one mistake that breaks your shield, and then you have a recovery time period to regain your shield, setting you back to two mistakes. Unfortunately, this occasionally leads to cheap insta fails where those two mistakes happen at the same moment. And that's a different failure frustration level than you would see with just not being able to keep up with a beat or not knowing the sequence of the upcoming blocks or something you would see in a typical rhythm based game. From a rhythm standpoint, I actually found this game a bit lacking. Now, as you get more proficient, you will see moments where your gunshots will actually match some of the tempo. This will encourage you to fire in specific patterns, but overall it's not that same synchronicity you see in Beat Saber. Ultimately, I don't feel like this is a rhythm based game. Now that isn't necessarily a bad thing, mixing fast paced music with gunplay is just plain cool. Now music is subjective, personally this EDM style music is not really up my alley. The songs are cool, they're fun, but they wouldn't be my first choice to get me pumped up. The soundtracks from Space Pirate Trainer and Beat Saber give me much more of an overall boost than this game did. Now new tracks can always be added so that should definitely help. And that actually segues right into my next issue with this game. I feel like overall it just needs more. Different weapons, different mods, different gameplay objectives. At $24.99, the game feels a bit content sparse. I would have loved to see this game embrace the shooter aspect a little bit more than the rhythm style gameplay with some linear progression, possibly boss fights, maybe some sort of storyline. And lastly, the game is begging for additional weapons. Progression is a tried and true method to encourage people to keep playing. Now, when it comes to rhythm style games, that progression is actually your own skill, your own ability to improve and an overall race for the top of the leaderboard. This method of progression just isn't for everyone. Some people just wanna jump into a game and have fun. And I feel if you're just gonna be playing this game on easy, popping in and out for some quick fun here and there, you're gonna get bored. And if there aren't some new songs, gameplay modes, other additional content, the average gamer might just get bored with this and move on. On the flip side, the game is definitely fun. It is a unique experience, so there's nothing out there that's quite like this game. And it can also be quite a physical challenge, which again, isn't for everybody. There's going to be a lot of lateral movement and not everyone wants to break a sweat every time they play a video game. I think an hour of this game can definitely replace your routine cardio. And this prevented me from collecting a ton of footage. Yeah, I was tired. Now we've spent about four minutes jumping back and forth between the pros and cons of this game. Initially, I thought I was going to return this title, but it did grow on me. I want to keep it. 
I want to get better. Overall, the game feels fun and rewarding. But now we have to address the question of, was this game overhyped? Sadly, in this department, I have to say, well, yeah, it was. Now, this is to no fault of Cloudhead Games. Their previous track record put them on the radar, and people were very encouraged to see what they had next, especially when this new title was not similar at all to their previous work. The internet's love of John Wick and Keanu Reeves was just fuel to the fire, and overall, sometimes you just can't control what happens on the internet. Cloudhead Games wasn't out there making Fallout 76 style promises in regards to this game. They made some really cool mixed reality content and we ate it up. So in conclusion, if you're looking for something different, you might want to consider this game. It's cool, it's fun. Just know it's a little bit more super hot on rails rather than John Wick meets Beat Saber. Okay, everybody, as always, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, go ahead, give it a thumbs up. Let me know your comments down below. Are you just loving this game? Am I wrong? Does the hype level meet your expectations? Well, let me know, and I will see you guys on next time.